Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. What is everyone sponsoring from our main links in the YouTube that is the Disabled Gamer Reviews here. This time we are rigging the Retro Gaming Takeover of Disabled Gaming Reviews, but with good reason. This time it's a week one review. I take a look at the latest entry of Bandai Namco's world famous fighting game franchise. Is this game ready for the next battle? Or would it be better off hitting the lab for a few more hours? Well, without further ado, let's get ready for the next battle, and let's find out. Out of all the fighting game franchises that which stood the test of time, Tekken is the equivalent of the big three, along with Street Fighter and Mono Fight! The franchise's heritage dates back to 1994 with the original game for the PlayStation 1. Throughout the passage of time, this franchise has been improving itself with every passing release, including the spin offs, for example. One of the best launch titles for the highly successful PlayStation 2 Tech Attack Tournament released to the public in 1999. This title continued the gaming version of Family Issues to Mishima Saga, and it centered around a feud between Kazuya Mishima and Jin Kazama. It is up to you to pick a fighter from a roster and compete in the King of Iron Fist Tournament 8. The accessibility scores are as follows. To kick things off, visibility gave an 11. When it comes to this category, the developer seems to be taking a leaf from Iron Galaxy's playbook. Don't worry guys, it's meant in a good way. Full character customization is available. However, the majority of the character or customization options has needs to be unlocked. You can do so by simply grinding the game. When you're done finishing customizing your character, you can apply them to each and one of the four character customization slots, which can be selected in the character selection screen before you start a fight. Now these slots are on a per character basis, so a player with a visual impairment we should be able to play this game with no issues. Next up on ability, I scored a 10. There are some titles available in this game, which can be enabled and disabled through the sound section of the options menu. However, there is no way to customize font size of the menus and subtitles. This puts the player at risk of ice stream when playing this game. To be fair, each character speaks their own native language. For example, Jin Kazuma speaks in Japanese. So good luck trying to understand what each character is saying without these subtitles enabled. Next up on the agenda, mobility is going to 10. As part of the course for a fighting game, the controls can be completely customized to suit your impairment. Better still, there are AI systems when playing this game. This is known as special style. When this feature is activated, inputs will appear at the bottom of the screen. These display which commands can be performed when using this feature and the inputs required to perform them. However, this is not exactly the best way to implement AI assistance as this feature can be very easily abused. A player can execute complex combos while pressing a single button repeatedly, which does result in easy victories. This removes the element of skill required to play a fighting game. Now to reopen my open question, is AI assistance permissible in a fighting game? If so, what would you say it's a perfect system to even on the battlefield where the player with the mobility impairment goes against a play an able-bodied player? Where would you draw the line between a system that makes gaming in general fairer or a system that can be very easily abused by every player to guarantee easy wins with minimal to no skill required? As always, let me know down in those comments. So this game is easily playable for a player with a mobility impairment, but the special style mechanic can be very easily abused. And that certainly by no means least gameplay a given 10. Take note everyone, this is exactly how a fighting game on next gen system should play. From my PC gaming setup with an ARM with an RTX 3070, this game is running a smoothly but solid 59 frames per second. Character roster size is standard for a fighting game at launch. Most franchise veterans, for example, Horang, Martial Law, King, Yoshimitsu, and Jin Kazama are still there. 
with a fair few new challenges to make this game fresh. For example, Vector Chevalier. The heat system makes this game unique. This system can be used in one of two ways. You can use the system to perform a smash attack, which has frame advantage when the attack is blocked. You can also use heat to enhance a combo by launching your opponent in the air or against the wall. Followed by a dash animation to maintain offensive pressure on your opponent. In summary, Tekken 8 is an enjoyable fighting game experience. Namco's flair for developing fighting games is present here. The visuals look gorgeous, the mechanics are well implemented, the soundtrack is excellent, and the character roster is very unique. If you're a fighting game enthusiast, I seriously cannot recommend this game enough to you. Seriously, stop watching this video and go buy it. And the overall score is a massive 101.25%. This is part of Commander 1992 Fetter Digital Gamer Review signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next review.